What's up, Static? What is up, Static Family? Um, <clears throat> we're back with another video today. Um, man, my damn nose is stuffy. Well, we're back with another video today, obviously. Um, it's chest day. So, getting ourselves ready for a nice little, um, titty pump. <clears throat> per the usual, you know, you gotta get the L-citrulline. And we already got the creatine in here. like a little bit of water. I'm not one of those people. If I ever take like supplements, like uh, pre-workout, though I don't take pre-workout, but if I, like when I did take pre-workout, and you know when I take my creatine and stuff like that, I was never one of those people to like pour a bunch of water into my uh, little concoctions. Always like as little water as possible, right? For me, it's just it's easier on my stomach, um, so that's why I prefer doing it like that. But Oh, that last bit that just tastes so nasty. <laughs> Remember, folks, a scoop of creatine a day keeps the skinny bitches away. So, <clears throat> yeah, we're about to make our way over to the gym. little morning workout started. We're going to try to make this quick because we got some things to do today so I don't really feel like, well not really a matter of feeling like, I just, I don't want to waste too much time in the gym today considering that there's other things I got to do. And then you know, I'm off work today so you know with Oh shoot, I broke too hard. Damn. I just found an apartment over here near me that's uh, for sale. Gotta make some phone calls. So I gotta do. So yeah, we're not gonna be in the gym all day today. Get a quick little. Ooh, that mailbox lady looks kind of cute. So I went to um, I went to 7-Eleven last night, and for those of you who know, anytime I go to 7-Eleven, I'm usually picking up like my little protein shakes from there. I'm already with a brand that uh, has protein powders, but like it's when I order, I have to wait like wait a few days. Obviously, I don't really feel like doing that right now, so. For the time being, like for the next few days, I'm just like going to 7-Eleven, picking up those shakes, and um, you know, getting my shakes. Oh, but there we go. Hold on. There it is. So um, I went to 7-Eleven yesterday, and this lady. Well, I wouldn't say lady. I'm not like a girl. Probably around my age. She um. She heard me playing music. <laughs> Dude, I hate I hate like driving this area because it always happens. <laughs> so this girl that was leaving out of 7-Eleven yesterday, um, she was like staring at me as I was pulling up to 7-Eleven. And so I have my music on and everything, so that's probably like one of the main reasons why. But then like you know, I parked, obviously, I got out the car, and um, when I got out, I looked over into her car, 
because she was staring for like a long time. So I had a feeling that she'd be still staring. Um, and so, uh, surely enough, she was, right? And so, um, I look and I see her like peeking through like her back window until <clears throat> and she like staring at me and I'm like, bro, what the heck? And I can see her staring at me like, and she's still just staring. I'm like, what the hell? But she wasn't an ugly girl or anything. You know what I mean? Like she was, she was a very attractive woman. Um, but, uh, just interesting. I was like, okay, like at least say something. Right. But yeah, so that happened. And then this went up my night, but I don't know what the point of me telling the story was, but I mean, it usually happens a lot with me as a thing. But that lady, well, that girl was, like, committed yesterday, man. She was super committed. You know, people usually look away and stuff. But, nah, she was committed. And I was like, yo. Don't stare for too long. I might have to call the cops on you or something. But, uh, yeah. so bad. I just don't know what I'm doing. I have to get like a stand or something for this camera to stay because that's like one of the most annoying things. <sighs> I hope you guys liked that last video that I had posted. Um, it wasn't really like too much of a workout video. It was more so just like, like a, a literal vlog. Um, I mean, I won't spoil too much of it because I kind of want you guys to go watch it, right? But uh, long story short, it was just like me and Donovan just chilling. Um, we went out a little bit and um, enjoyed ourselves. But yeah, it was a little different of a video. Not too much of a workout. But make sure y'all go check that out and uh, let me know what you think about the video. I can keep making videos like that or I can continue to just do, you know, Many vlogs and then just made mainly just like workout type things I'm Trying to get more in the habit of doing more like vlogging right getting like showing like my more day-to-day -day life, but It's a little hard sometimes because like Sometimes I just don't be feeling like recording or it's like I'm like already doing something for me to it's like too late to record type of thing These brakes on this car are I need some music or something. Let me grab this camera before it falls. I know it's about to do it, but yeah, so just let me know what y'all like would rather me do as far as videos go. And uh, I can do that for y'all. Get some music playing. Not really too sure what I want to listen to today. I don't even want to listen to that song. Not sure what I want to listen to. Yeah, so I'm gonna um, try to walk you guys through the workouts a little bit more today. Uh, I won't be talking, but I'll just kind of take it a little slower on like getting into the workout so you all can like see. Because usually I'm just like psh, just going, but I'll take my time today on my workout so that you can, you guys can like see what I do, um, and then like why I do it. Just like kind of pay attention is the thing. Um, the thing is with me, I'm always chasing failure for my workouts or like near failure uh, because training to failure all the time isn't good for you. So I try to train near it most of the time or to failure. For my chest specifically though, I try to train to failure or try to push past that because like my chest lacks compared to like uh, my back. So I always try to, hold on, we're turning. So I always try to like 
really train um, my chest and arms because like those are the two muscle groups I lack. So um, just pay attention when I'm training today uh, with, with chest because you'll like basically see like well, why I'm pushing myself the way I do or why I might do a certain set or an extra set or a few, a few extra reps and stuff. Just like be kind of cognizant of that. So yeah, just a little food for thought type of thing. But um, I'm going to see y'all when we uh
things, okay? We come insane. Several things that buys a pumpkin cure. Depression, anxiety, uh, body dysmorphia, uh, loneliness. That's the only thing that will stop you. Something's happening. I'm not the Jedi I should be. I want more. And I know I shouldn't. you put in, the more you get out. So stop fucking making excuses. Get out there and do whatever the fuck it takes to reach your fucking goals.
aesthetic family. So that was pretty much um, the chest workout or push day, I guess. Uh, hope you all enjoyed. Yeah, we might as well see the pump before we go. I was going for a more retro looking fit today. It's probably one of my favorite fits. So I'm just like low key. See, I want to take this tank top off, but that's going to be a fight, so I'm not going to do that. But yeah, this pump is looking. You can see everything without it. Well, with it on, I mean. illustrations so this morning um or more so yesterday morning uh wake up weight was 198 so we're getting a little you know closer to 200 uh, so yeah the only thing i do now is just to keep eating <clears throat> and then 200 right there honestly i think i might end up talking with my coach seeing if i can push a little bit past 200 because we're a little bit more lean since the first bulk when I first hit 200 I held a lot more water weight too and fat but this time around I'm a little bit more lean than uh, the last bulk so I kind of want to push some more weight See where I can get to, get some more mass on me, right? Because the more mass you get, the you know, more muscle you build, well, the more strength you get, the more muscle you build. So, I like when the shirt gets sweaty because then it gets all baggy and stuff and loose. And then when it sits on your traps and your shoulders, especially if you're like a broad person like I am, kind of just, it just sits a lot better. Yeah, so. Hope y'all enjoyed. Um, see y'all in the car. We're gonna go head to the grocery store. So. Whipping all this double bit of chop off. We fuck all you bitches at the trap off. I can't trust you. I can't give you real address. I can't trust you. I can't give you real address.